All of our kits come with self-tapping screws. Makes it nice and easy. So he's punching this first one centered underneath the main drain. The key is do not over tighten. So when that drill starts getting close, that screw's running out of threads, back off a little bit. Once your, uh, your actual mounting rack is installed, then you're gonna hit in your what we call a deflector shield. You kind of look back at this, you can see that grease will hit that deflector shield and it has a V-shape to it that'll bring that grease down to the middle of the rack system. Okay, I wanted to mention a couple of key features that we've got with the flush mount mounting bracket that we use, which is the orange bracket here. Um, one thing that's really nice about this is sometimes your curbs come out and they don't necessarily sit nice and straight. Maybe you're, uh, when you put your rack system in place, you may find that the curb makes it run downhill or rather it may go uphill. So one thing that's nice about this is the way we've developed these feet is if you'll come in, you just kind of pry up on these feet. We're gonna try and make this thing lean up. Let's just exaggerate a little bit. What this is gonna do is, it's gonna change your pitch. I don't know how well that video is showing, but the rack system is actually coming up in the air a little bit in the front end. Now, if we remove the rack back, we kind of pull these things back down and square it back up. Little needle nose pliers, vice grips, that take a lot of torque. You kind of bend that piece back down. Now, when he ever he hooks up his rack, I'm gonna try and see if I can get the action of this right here. Pull back out one more time. Okay, now watch, he's gonna come back in this adapter. See how that receiver just kind of pins that back in? And it rests right here on that foot. Now, one thing that was a little bit unique about this brand new install that we did was, we've already got a factory hinge installed that made us push, technically, this rack system a little bit off-centered. So if you look, this box sits just a little bit to the left of center. The nice thing about using a deflector shield is anything that hits over in this area is going to redirect. And if you notice, he's got his deflector shield centered right in the middle of that box. That way everything's going to funnel right to the pillow. All right, next step is to install the actual oil absorbent pillow inside of your rack system. Now, if you'll notice, we bag every pillow from drip lock. It's not just so we can keep the material inside of the pillow during shipment. It's actually so you can reuse this bag. If you're doing a filter replacement, you got a nice bag that you can turn around and use to throw away all your dirty debris and things like that. So hand out, hang on to those as much as you can. Now, what's important about a pillow, you notice these things get a little bit on the dusty side. And what he's going to do is he's going to work this pillow out nice and flat. In other words, we want the media inside of it to be nice and nice and flat or even across it. He's going to set it down inside the rack system. He's going to tuck those corners in. And the key is right there. The key is he's working a bowl or a funnel shape down into the middle of the rack. Gonna go ahead and make sure everything's good. He's gonna snap his lid back in place. Easy enough. Now, a couple things to take away from that is whenever he puts that filter media inside of here, or his pillow, it's detrimental that he covers this drain hole, not just with the pillow material, but with the actual filter media the idea is we're filtering water. We don't want to just leave things where they're uh, redirecting grease out of a main drain of the rack system. That's meant to lose rainwater, not grease. So make sure your pillows are nice and in front of that hole. That concludes the install on the rack system. If you've got any questions, please call tech support. Thank you very much.